You know, one of the main concerns you always hear about somebody starting up a tank is, I don't want to make water changes. Well, one of the keys to that is a great product by Wondersafe Products called Eco Biostone. And for someone who has about 400 tanks under one roof, I think David Hale from Something Fishy can attest to that. David. Frank, what's going on? Water changes are a big deal for people. They think they see that they have buckets everywhere. They're going to have to make all kinds of water changes. Give us an idea of what Eco Biostone does. It clarifies water, right? Yes, sir. It, what it does is establish a nitrifying bacteria, helps reduce stress on the fish, break down the ammonias and nitrites and nitrates, and makes it safe for the fish, and helps reduce the water changes on the aquarium. For those who absolutely despise maintenance, this is the perfect product because the Eco Biostone eliminates maintenance. Yes, sir. So the Eco Biostone is good for both marine tank saltwater and freshwater. So easy, you can show us how easy it actually is. You soak it in the water, uh, dechlorinated water for 24 hours, and then all you do is place it in the aquarium. Now when you place it in the aquarium, it's good for up to two years. You don't necessarily have to put it right in the front like you did, we're just doing it to show. I mean, there are different sizes for different sized aquariums based on the instructions given by Wondersave, but you can put it any place in the aquarium as long as it's in the water. Yes, sir. You could put it in there, put it in, ming mingle it with your rocks and decor that exists in your aquarium now. So for those who say, I don't want to do water changes, Wondersafe Products has a product, Eco Biostone. Nature's microbes have self-cleansing power. Eco Bioblock is infused with nature's own microbes and volcanic rock. Creates a perfect ecosystem by clarifying cloudy water and replacing minerals. Setting up aquariums has never been easier. Reduce water changes and vacuumings. Eco Bioblock. Clear water, healthy fish. Give us a call or go online to wondersave.com. You know, we just got done talking about where fish come from. Well, one of the places that they end up is right here. We're at a place called Something Fishy in Cleveland, Ohio. And I'm tapping on the glass because Dave's not around. So we're going to have a little bit of fun while he's absent. Something fishy is amazing, especially if you're looking for hard to find fish. This place has several large rooms filled with hundreds of cool fish. There are tanks everywhere you turn. What aquarium store do you know that has a tank in the floor? Well, here at Something Fishy, there is a tank in the floor. I'm just kind of playing around a little bit, waiting for Dave. So uh, when he comes, we're going to have to shape up a little bit. But crayfish, blue crayfish, in the water. Frank, what are you doing? Hey, Dave. Uh, I saw the tank in the floor, and I was just playing around a little bit. What well, do you think? This is a petting zoo? I suppose you want me to get up. Yeah, probably good. OK, well, <laughs> I'll put the later, buddy. All right, thanks. You know, I'm serious. I was only kidding laying by your floor, but why put a tank in the floor if somebody can't play with it? So the kids could see it. Oh, well, I saw it. I know. Hey, we're here in your big main room. There's another floor. We'll talk about that in a minute. But you mostly have cichlids here. And how many tanks? Uh, there's approximately 150 tanks in this room. And almost all cichlids? Majority, not all. Well, yes, majority, because over here is one of the cooler, unique fish. You have a stingray. Explain it a little bit. That's a Matoro stingray. It uh, comes from Peru, um, one of the locations that they're from. It's a baby. It's a male, young male, the orange spots. And they can get up to about 24 inches full grown and round. Uh, they eat krill, worms, uh, small fish. So the stingray is a little more of an oddity, but you basically dabble in cichlids. Right. So many fish, so little time. Give us an idea. Show us a couple tanks that have some really rather unique fish. Here's a really cool one. It's called a Vija cynospilum. This is a male. Oh, oh wait, a what? Cynospilum. It's I, a young male. I think he went to school Such with his brother. <laughs> it's a Central American cichlid. They can get up to about 24 inches in size. Uh, it's a, it gets more beautiful as it matures. It gets like a nice hump on its head. Uh, it's a great fish with personality. More beautiful as it matures. Sounds like me. Pick another one. Here's another one that's really cool, one of my favorites. It's called a Pseudotrophias greberi. It's a big male. It's from uh, Lake Malawi in Africa. And he's about full grown. And then we got some baby ones of the same fish right here. Babies, and we're going to talk more about that in a minute because you have a unique breeding section of your establishment, don't you? 
Yes, we do. So you've showed us a couple of these different unique fish. What do you do maintenance-wise if you ever have to go out of town? You can't uh, take them with you. They have a couple helpers come in, check them out, um, not to overfeed them, and uh, do some wire changes as needed. Can this fish get any bigger? Oh, yeah, Frank. A lot bigger. What is it? It's an emperor cichlid from Lake Tanganyika. How big is it right as we're looking at it? She's right about two feet, and they can get up to about 40 inches and 30 pounds, full grown. That's almost four foot fish. Yes. How big is this tank? This is a 150 gallon aquarium, Frank. So she makes it look rather small, actually. Oh, yeah. So she'll grow to the size of the tank. So if you put her in a three or 400 gallon tank, would she get bigger? It'd definitely speed up the growth rate in a bigger tank. How long could she live for if she's already eight years old? Probably another eight years. Wow. You got a fishing rod anywhere around here? Sorry, Frank, no fishing. The next time you're in the Cleveland area, stop by Something Fishy and chat with Dave. He loves to talk fish. And be sure to check out the next Blue Zoo webisode to see Dave's fish hatchery. To learn more about the show or to email us, go to bluezootv.com.